Hello! Today we're going to look at upgrading the firmware on an SST ESR2 CLX RLL module or an SST SR4 CLX RLL module. The process is the same for both of them. Uh, today I have an ESR2 module I'm going to be demonstrating on. The first thing we have to make sure is we don't have uh, a connection over the backplane from the uh, control logic CPU to our module. Uh, what happens then is the we're not unable to stop the cyclic functions uh, and that can cause a problem when we're trying to update the firmware and actually um, cause the module to stop working. So we need to go to RS Logics 5000. Uh, we're going to use the module, update the firmware on the module in slot 3. Uh, so we go to the properties, go to the connection, and we inhibit the module. Now because we're in run mode, we're going to get a message uh, warning us about the danger. Um, since we're updating the firmware anyways, which would uh, interrupt communications, uh, we're fine with that, we see OK, and we see that uh, it's now inhibited and we can see that uh, over there the um, status has changed. Uh, so now we want to go back to our configuration manager and we have our uh, ESR2 extended. That's our slot 3 uh, module, so we'll say OK, we're on Ethernet IP. We have to be on Ethernet IP or RS links to do the, uh, to the, do the update, we can't use TCP IP and we click on the firmware button and we get that warning uh, that you need to inhibit that connection which we've already done so we say okay and we open that up and we see that uh, this one already has an updated firmware uh, but we're going to re-download that just to, to show you what the process is uh, so if it doesn't um, point to the CLX firmware zip file right now uh, on your uh, on your install you can click on the browse uh, you go to uh, your C drive, you go to program data, you go to Brad communications, SST backplane communication module, and firmware update, and select that CLX2000 firmware uh, .zip file. Uh, this would also be the location where you would put a new firmware file if, uh, if you downloaded that from the website or we send it to you for some reason. You say open, and that will populate and show you all the versions that are there. Uh, so then we click on the download button, and that will go through uh, checking the cyclic functions, resetting them, making sure they're stopped, uh, and then it'll start transferring the files. And you'll see in the bottom, uh, it'll transfer them and check them to make sure that uh, they're fine. And some of them are not required. If they've already matched the files, um, it'll say so and then uh, flash updates will take effect after reset. Do you want to reset the module? Yes, we do. So in this case, the firmware um, in our install was slightly newer than what was on the module. Six files were updated. And this firmware update will work with all of our modules right back to uh, the first one we released and uh, uh, it'll update it to the, the to the current version. So now we see uh, if we look through all those versions they match with what's in our, our latest version. Thank you. 